welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about Lone Mountain. Why does Lone Mountain have so many poor reviews? Well, that's a Lone Mountain truck. Let's talk about it. Yeah, I bought my truck from Lone Mountain. I bought it uh, about three and a half years ago, I guess now. And to be honest, it's been a great truck. The reason that you hear about nothing but negativity, nothing but the bad re bad reviews about Lone Mountain, well, there's no news like bad news. You ever heard that expression? Uh, bad news travels so much faster than good news. As a matter of fact, good news really doesn't even move. Uh, well, here's some good news for you. Like I said, my truck has been a great truck. I really, I've had some nominal problems here and there, but for the most part, you know, nothing major. Um, I did have to replace a clutch early. Uh, you know, I, I guess the guy before me just didn't know how to shift, unfortunately, because uh, it was replaced pretty early. Other than that, I really haven't had any other issue. You know, the one other I guess I did have uh, was a rear main seal. That should have been done when the clutch was replaced. But your boy didn't know that, so we didn't do it, and it cost us quite a bit of money after that. But, you know, really, it... This thing has hardly left me on the side of the road at all. Uh, if you've been around the channel for a little while, sure. Self-induced, I've been on the side of the road a couple of times. It's a learning process. Just like it'll be a learning process for you, as I would imagine you watching this video are thinking about buying your first truck. And you're probably wondering, is Lone Mountain a good place? But you see nothing but these bad reviews. And don't get me wrong, you know, no, nothing is perfect. I've said it before on this channel, you can buy a brand new truck, drive it two miles up the road and have it inspected and a DOT inspector can find something wrong with that brand new truck. So it doesn't really matter if you buy brand new or if you buy slightly used. I like slightly used. It's all about your knowledge base and how well you take care of that truck said this before but i'm gonna say it again when i bought my truck i arrived in the morning time i was there before anyone else there were like three or four people that showed up to buy a truck that day after me and left well before i did and one guy popped the hood one and all he did was a short little walk around checked it out made sure it was clean which by the way just because it's clean doesn't mean anything uh, i was out there actually pulling parts off of the engine uh, my salesman came over and he's like, hey, don't shoot the messenger, but uh, you're going to have to put the truck back together. I looked at him and I said, well, if you want me to buy this truck, you're going to let me inspect it thoroughly. And that is something that you need to do. It's not something that I'm going to get into in this particular video, but it, it, you need to increase your knowledge base as far as what to look for when buying a truck. That's very, very important. I, I knew nothing. I knew nothing about buying a truck. I really don't, I still don't know much about being a mechanic. I mean, if it unbolts from the engine and bolts back on, I'm in good shape. Matter of fact, I stayed up all night in Phoenix, Arizona, replacing two fuel lines, which were four banjo bolts. That was fun, because it was like 100 degrees outside, but whatever. You need to acclimate yourself, uh, or, or increase your knowledge base, I should say, uh, as far as what to look for, how to maintain these trucks, because if you know how to maintain the trucks, then you'll know what intervals are coming up in that particular area. So if you go and you look for a truck that has like 600 to 700,000 miles on it, then you need to know that that turbo is likely reaching the end of its life. I hate to even say this out loud, but I have 894,000 miles on it, and I still have OEM turbo, so fingers crossed for me, please. Matter of fact, hit that like button, and uh, bring me, you know, shoot me over some luck. Hit that like button, show me that uh, we're, our turbo's gonna be good for a little while. And if you're enjoying the video, please click that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you know when the next video's coming out. But Lone Mountain, it's, it's sad because there are so many people that are just like me that you never hear about. You know, it, it, like I said, I crawled all over that thing. You do have to watch out though. You know, I will say this, my truck's not exactly set up ex how I want it to be, which I run a step deck. So it's not quite set up properly for that. And I, that's where you kind of really should start. You should start 
what kind of freight are you going to run and then build the truck for that application. I didn't have a whole lot of choice, just like you probably don't have a whole lot of choice watching this video either, but it is what it is. You know, a truck at the end of the day, if you want a truck, you can get a truck from Lone Mountain. Uh, you know, they're, the price that they advertise, that's what it's gonna be. You, you give them the down payment. What I really like is that they require you to have extra cash in your account. And this is not like buying a pre-owned car from Joe Bob's dealership down the road. Joe Bob's dealership, if there's a problem with that car, he's gonna prob probably gonna take care of it. These trucks, we put 100,000 miles a year on them guess what? They're going to break. And it's very likely that you're going to need to do something to your truck within the first couple of months. So if you're strapped for cash, if your bills are high and you're barely making all your, you know, all of your payments, including the truck payment, and you're unable to build your maintenance account when, not if, when you have an issue, you can't pay for it. And a lot of people don't understand this. They also don't understand that as an owner operator, we have an insane amount of, of expenses and you also need to keep taxes. You gotta pay money back for taxes. There's just, there's so much involved. You're no longer just a truck driver. You're an owner operator. You are a business owner. You have to treat it like a business or it won't pay you like a business. But if you treat it like that, you can make really good money you can actually do really well with a truck from Lone Mountain. Now, I touched on this a little bit earlier. I, I have a friend of mine, or at least an acquaintance, his engine blew up, but that could happen on a brand new truck. So don't be scared of all the negativity that you see. Know that there are success stories. Like I said, almost 900,000 miles. I bought it when it had 453, so I have put almost we're getting there almost half of the miles on this truck it's been a great truck and that's that's not by luck i mean i'm not i'm not trying to brag i don't do that on this channel but it's not luck getting down the road and taking care of business but anyway if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe ring that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out check out one of these videos right over here youtube does a great job of uh i don't know telling you what you want to watch but as always stay driven